Known for its rich cultural heritage and modern infrastructure, Abu Dhabi is home to several iconic landmarks such as the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, Emirates Palace Hotel, and the Aldar headquarters the Round Skyscraper. The city has embraced its heritage while continuously developing into a modern metropolis, making it a unique blend of old and new. As part of Abu Dhabi's commitment to promoting cultural exchange and education, the city has started developing an island which will be home to several world-class museums and cultural institutions. This billion-dollar new development will showcase some of the most futuristic museums in the world. From environmentally inspired designs to virtual reality exhibits, these architectural masterpieces will breathe new life into UAE's already booming tourism industry. Sadiyat Island is a man-made island that is positioned just 500 meters off the coast of Abu Dhabi. It is expected to become the city's cultural center upon completion, consisting of museums, schools, housing districts, and leisure activities. The island is easily accessible, with just a 5-minute drive from downtown Abu Dhabi, 20 minutes from the main airport, and 1 hour from Dubai. Divided into 7 districts, the island will eventually house over 145,000 people. The cultural district occupies only 10% of the island's total area, and this is the district that would host the island's museums. The plans for the island were first envisioned in the late 1990s by the Abu Dhabi Tourism Authority. The development of Sadiyat Island was also closely tied to the larger vision of the UAE to position itself as a leading player on the global stage. By creating a hub for cultural, educational, and artistic activities, the UAE hoped to demonstrate its commitment to fostering cultural exchange and dialogue and to establishing itself as a major center for the arts and cultural heritage. With that being said, now let's dive into the amazing museum megaprojects in Sadiyat Island that have been completed or are currently underway. One of the highlights of Sadiyat Island is the Guggenheim Museum, a spectacular symbol of cultural exchange between the UAE and the rest of the world. Designed by the renowned architect Frank Gehry, the Guggenheim Museum in Abu Dhabi is a beautiful example of his signature style of organic flowing lines and shapes. The museum takes inspiration from traditional Middle Eastern courtyards and wind towers for cooling in the desert sun. The building is shaped like a series of overlapping discs that appear to float on the water, creating a stunning visual effect. The museum's galleries are arranged around a central atrium, which serves as a hub for visitors and provides natural light for the exhibitions. This museum is set to be the Guggenheim Foundation's largest facility, and its first in the Middle East. With 130,000 square feet of exhibition space, it includes exhibition galleries, research and education areas, a conservation lab, a center for Arab, Islamic, and Middle Eastern culture, and a center for art and technology. The museum will be owned by Abu Dhabi's tourism development and investment company and managed by the Guggenheim Foundation. The project was announced in 2006 with construction commencing in 2011, but was soon halted due to delays. But the project is now well underway with the completion date set for 2025. Known as France's largest cultural project abroad, the Louvre in Abu Dhabi spans 260,000 square feet, with 86,000 square feet of galleries, making it the largest art museum in the Arabian Peninsula to date. It showcases artworks from around the world, with the aim of bridging Eastern and Western art. By 2019, the Louvre Abu Dhabi received 2 million visitors, making it the most visited museum in the Arab world. The museum operates under an agreement between the UAE and France, allowing the use of the Louvre's name until 2037. Abu Dhabi's version of the iconic Louvre opened in 2017 after eight years of construction and a budget of over $1 billion. Designed by John Nouvelle, the museum features a floating dome with a wet-patterned roof to let in sunlight, symbolizing rays of light through date palm fronds in an oasis. 
The building's geometric dome is an impressive 590 feet wide and made up of almost 8,000 overlapping metal stars. It also weighs around 7,500 tons, similar to the Eiffel Tower's metal frame which weighs about 7,300 tons. In addition to the magical atmosphere the dome creates, it provides shade to the museum keeping the art and the guests protected from the heat of the scorching sun. Also, the geotechnical and water engineers have designed a waterproof basement and tidal pools within the galleries to give the illusion of a museum in the sea while protecting the art and visitors from the marine environment. The complex includes 55 buildings, 23 of which are art galleries, designed to resemble traditional low-rise homes of the region. As a tribute to the UAE's founding president, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan, the Zayed National Museum is the first museum that was built on Saadiyat Island. Its architecture blends modern efficiency with traditional Arabic design and hospitality, reflecting Sheikh Zayed's legacy and love of nature. The museum is set in a landscaped garden based on a timeline of his life, with galleries housed in a man-made mound and placed at the base of five solar thermal towers. The towers heat up and act as thermal chimneys, drawing and cooling air currents to circulate through the museum and keep it cool. The air is captured at low level and cools through underground pipes before being released into the lobby. The Zayed National Museum features sculpted, lightweight steel towers shaped like bird feathers to reflect Sheikh Zayed's passion for falconry. The indoor spaces open up to an outdoor arena for bird displays and a gallery dedicated to the subject of conservation. The central lobby is a dramatic top-lit space that brings together shops, cafes, an auditorium, and venues for poetry and dance performances. The museum opening has faced multiple delays. Originally set for completion in 2012, the opening was pushed back to 2013, then 2021, and as of today it's still under construction with a planned opening in 2025. Team Lab, a Japanese art group, has unveiled the plan for Team Lab Phenomena Abu Dhabi, a permanent showcase for its digital artwork on Saadiyat Island. At this museum, art and technology will merge in an experimental facility where guests can see, touch, and even walk inside of digital art. The gallery is expected to open in 2024 as the second cultural venue on the island and is reportedly 25% complete. The exterior of Team Lab's Abu Dhabi Museum is being conceived as a white sculptural block, with a sloping wavy roof and a ceremonial staircase and raised plaza. Other than the entrances and a terrace on the first floor, there will be zero windows in the building. Inside, galleries of different sizes will display digital artwork that changes and evolves through the participation of the museum's guests. The exhibits themselves will also change often so guests will experience something completely unique each time they visit. Abu Dhabi also unveiled plans for a natural history museum in Saadiyat Island, which will feature some of the rarest wonders of natural history ever found. As of now, the museum is 25% complete and is set to be completed by the end of 2025. Lead architects Mekanu designed the Natural History Museum in Abu Dhabi to resonate with natural rock formations, reflecting the museum's goal of improving understanding of the natural world. Every element of the design uses geometry as an overriding theme, with pentagonal shapes resembling cellular structures, the building blocks of life. The Greenery Top Museum is being built on an expansive waterfront patch of land. Once finished, it will house some of the rarest historical specimens on Earth including Stan, a 67 million year old T-Rex skeleton worth $31.8 million, and a 7 billion year old meteorite. Saadiyat Island in Abu Dhabi is taking steady strides towards becoming a major hotspot to both art enthusiasts and tourists alike. With the completion of the museums, coupled with many more projects in the region, the island is guaranteed to become a focal point in the global tourism industry. It is safe to say that the aspirations for this island which were put together decades ago, 
are coming into fruition fantastically. What do you think of this billion dollar museum island? Comment your thoughts below. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.